Okay, so there's this, the sides off. Uh, this was all still taped up. You can see the damage there. I'm checking to see if the tube... <sighs> that piece is fucking crushed. I guess it doesn't really matter if I scratch it, does it? No. screwing it in the bottom. Yep. It's not going to come off. Peel that stuff back so I can get a picture. Yep. So you can see how crushed all of this got when it fell. So on the back side here, you can really see how bad, whatever, don't even know how that happened. But that's, that's, not, that's not so good. Peeled this side off. The foot support foot broke off. Okay, so we pulled that off, and I see maybe a slight something or another here on the bottom tube here, but I guess we're gonna figure it out. But my best guess looking at this is the tube's intact, so I guess we have a freaking 100 watt instead of an 80 watt. Um, but again, we'll we'll finish doing all this. Um, and as we find stuff, uh, we'll record it. So I guess that's not a crack. I don't have any leaks that I can see. We get one little air bubble when we squeeze the tube. So tube's intact. We'll do a pulse test here in a minute and find out. Plugged into the best of our ability, we snatched cables um, that are missing from the other lasers, so let's find out. Okay, we had no power. I checked to make sure that I had power since I had to make shift a extension cord, but don't forget this. I'm going to plug the choker back in. I got, a, I got a red light. I'm gonna walk over here. I'll have to fix that here in a moment. And pulse. Yes, I am way out of focus. But you know what? It works. Mm -hmm. That was a hell of a beam. Okay, so we throw a piece of tape on here. We don't have a lot of room in where the shop is, but I'm gonna move the head all the way to the right. Now, again, we haven't done anything to the machine. We just kind of disassembled it, put it back together, checked the tube. Um, we know that this thing has been dropped because you can see the door doesn't want to shut. So I got to make some adjustments to the panels. Does it uh, matter that the that there's nothing covering the tube on the end there? No. So what I'm going to do is quickly hit pulse, and then I am going to I want to see if the how, how far the alignment's out since it did like roll over and stand on its edge and everything else. So two pulses. <laughs> I 
please feel free and my red dot is off and the other dots are really close so I don't think that's too bad of an alignment job um, I didn't check anything back there but literally we got it today got it hooked up and put together identified the problems and wanted to do a, a pulse test the laser works the tube is fine and we are a little out of center and not really touching but for the damage that this thing took i think it's pretty good